2015, Southern Africa. In a region rich in ancient human fossils, a fantastic new discovery awaits, deep underground. It's the first time paleoanthropologist Dr. Lee Berger has explored the rising star cave system. I had this map I'd created of almost 800 cave sites that were all entryways into the underworld that I hadn't been in yet, and that was the mission. Berger has heard rumors of human remains glimpsed down one of these passageways. It's challenging terrain for the scientific team. To travel just 100 meters takes 20, 30, 40 minutes, depending on how fit you are and how good you are at squeezing through very tight spaces. It's a torturous journey. The effort is worth it. They make an incredible find. I was speechless. I mean, there I saw something I thought I would never see in my entire career. There was a clearly primitive hominid just lying there on the surface in the dirt. The body is just the beginning. Berger and his team uncover bones from 15 separate skeletons, dating from the time humans first spread across Africa. We've had everything from individuals just born all the way to the extreme elderly and every body in between. But the bones are not human. They belong to a totally new species, Homo naledi. Imagine if you're standing out here 300,000 years ago. A group of Homo naledi is from 500 meters. They look very little different from humans because they're walking on two legs. As they approach, you're going to start seeing things that are different. You're going to notice that the proportions aren't right, that the heads are small, that the shoulders are narrow. When they got about 50 meters from you, you'd realize that's not a human coming at you. There'd be no mistaking. Naledi now joined the ranks of at least three other human-like species that existed in parallel to Homo sapiens 300,000 years ago, exhibited here in the National Museum of Natural History. We used to see human evolutionary history as that march of progress from ape-like to human beings. Instead, what we've learned is that there were contemporaries our evolutionary tree is branching and diverse, like the evolutionary trees of almost all other organisms on Earth. But if all these human-like competitors once shared our planet, why are we the only ones left? 